Hey guys, new video here. Today's video is all about gems and how to maybe make a little bit of money and get excited about um, one of these like heist rewards called a prime regrading lens and in some cases a secondary regrading lens. So um, if you're like looking at these, um, if you're been, like under a rock, maybe you don't know that there are like hundreds and hundreds of new kinds of gems, right? There's divergent, phantasmal, anomalos, uh, and different gems, and they give the gems some like alternate qualities, okay? Um, the TLDR is basically some of these qualities uh, give the gem an effect that is extremely desirable. And in the current meta of aura stackers, where the auras, um, where like most of the time the extra effect that says you and your nearby allies, um, that is part of a different quality on the gem, and that is multiplied by the aura effect. So it makes the aura gems, most of them, extremely valuable. Because um, let's just look at some of them, right? So if we look at something like um, like this right here, right? Diversion Andrew. So if you don't know, most aura skills, I'm pretty sure all of them, before 3.12 Heist League, they just gave you AOE um, for the quality, right? So if you had 20% quality, you would have 40% AOE, which wasn't really a big deal. I mean, yeah, it's kind of good if you're an Orobot and supporting a team, um, but it wasn't any extra character power because you were, sitting on, you were sitting on top of your carry anyways. Now, look at this one. So if you get this to 20%, you get 5% increased movement speed, right? So every, uh, every 4% is 1% movement speed. You might be like, 5%? That kind of sucks, right? That that really, really sucks because, like, who cares uh, if I get 5%? Like, I get some boots that are, like, 30, 35, you know, 25 to, fit to 30. I don't even notice that, right? But, um, actually, this gets scaled, once again, by the effect, and it becomes pretty massive. Uh, and then it also benefits your party members when it gets scaled as well. So let me just show you something here. Uh, oh, 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 spoilers. Someone wants to buy my, uh, my, my purity. This is what I'm going to show you today. Okay. Uh, where is it? This is one I made earlier on stream, and uh, oh, spo spoiler alert! Okay, uh, yeah, the video's ruined. Oh man, I gotta do a trade. So um, I'm gonna show you something right here. Uh, let me wait for my phase run to wear off. Okay, and if you look at you, if you go to your defense tab, you can see your movement speed, right? 143. If I turn off my Anger, I'm at 91. I go from 143 down to 91 move speed, and look, it's back. Okay, so um. That's a little bit more than the 5%, right? And that is because, once again, aura stackers are kind of determining that these um, these auras with the certain uh, type of different quality are going to be very, very valuable, okay? 21 and 6... Wait. Wait a minute. That's not 0.9. Wait, what are you doing? Wait a minute. That's not 0.9. What, what the... What the... Now that's more... Okay, now he gave me more than one exalt. Wait, how much are exalts right now? That's crazy. Okay, exalts must be going up. They're, oh, they're 56C now. That is really crazy. They are, yo, exalts are going up. Okay, I ruined my own video, not like this. So, um, and this is just one example, okay? So, um, you can kind of look at this. This is this website is called poe.ninja. That's what you type in to get here. And on the left side, you click on skill gems. Um, I select level one because um, if you don't select level one, it, go, it gets like really like messy here. And you can kind of see, right? So, besides the awakened gems, which drop from Cyrus, um, these... Uh, don't drop for size. They drop from the uh, heist, the grand heist specifically, and they can only drop from the grand heist or by using a prime regrading lens, which also drops from the, the grand heist. And um, if you look at these auras here, you can see that all of the expensive ones that aren't awakened gems are auras, okay? So I'll give you a very quick rundown and what they do and why they are so, so, so good really quickly, okay? If, you're, if you don't play an aura bot. So Wrath, um, Wrath, the 2% reduced, okay, that's not global. That'd be completely ridiculous. This is one of the only cases where that is not tagged as like you and nearby allies. So this just makes the Wrath have 2% reduced mana reserve, which is good because you know how much people are paying for 1% reduction jewels. So that is pretty good there. The Andrew, once again, you've seen like massive move speed bonuses, right? It's like wearing another like pair of seven league steps, basically. Period of elements is is penetration, but that gets multiplied. So you're doing like it, like more penetration than an awakened penetration gem once that gets juiced up. And remember, you can put enhance on these, and enhance, you know, makes those gives it another twenty four and sometimes like thirty two percent quality. Um, same thing with the uh, the period of ice; it gives you the the penetration. And all the periods have penetration, but most of the ore stackers are going some kind of like conversion into um, cold lightning and cold. Now, determination is an interesting one because determination gains ten percent evasion as armor, and you might go, "Wait a minute, that kind of sucks, right?" Because I don't have any evasion; I don't have any armor either. Um, well. 
It's not true because if you're an R stacker, you use grace, which gets multiplied that grace value of evasion and then 10% of like a lot and then multiplied by the more multiplier of armor for the determination gives you a whole bunch. So I'm gonna just show you this right here. I'm gonna open my character sheet and uh, let's just go up here. So I have right now 31,808 of uh, armor basically for free, okay? So hits like, it'll absorb like a little porky hits me for like 3K, it's gonna do zero damage insane okay very very crazy so you kind of you kind of get the idea here once again peer that ninja to see the prices so you can see right here like oh which ones are expensive and they are very expensive right um now and they're also waiting so first let me go ahead and dump my uh my monies here so that um you know this is a little bit more clean so let's go over what it takes to make these gems so first let's take a look at the main item when you are going to jamble on these right because yeah you could buy one but you could maybe make one yourself or you can maybe make a smart decision and try to make some money because the expected return right now on some of these depending on the time of day and um, if you're finding prime lenses buying prime lenses at a good price can be can be super good so Look at this thing. This is a primer grading lens. I have a stack of 10 just because I want to show you on these gems here, um, but they drop in stacks of one. And the way you get this is you need to run one of these blueprints, okay? Um, don't look at the, the rarity or like the um, like what my rules are. Just look at the base item. Repository blueprints will always have unusual gems at the end of each wing. Um, and that could be most of the time, the vast majority of the time, maybe like, um, well, actually the primer grading lens is, is kind of common i'd say it's like maybe one in three one in four wings or something like that um you, you get you actually get quite a lot of them and way more than the trinket that's expensive but let's say it's, let's say it's like one in four wings right so in one in four wings you will um you will get a prime grading lens as an option okay it's inside of a curio case if you take this you can't take any other gems unless you have like that that special cloak that doesn't um trigger lockdown and if you take the gems um then you can't take the prime grading lens so that's just i'm trying to make this video like a little bit new new player friendly for the first time you run one of these because i get asked a lot like how do you get these way like you know where do they drop and so um repository and tunnels okay uh rewards are tied to the blueprint themselves which means that every single tunnels and every single repository will have unusual gems if you're ever unsure um and you go to your high slogger and you're like man I don't, I don't know what the reward is right well um you can just read it at the top so at the top of every blueprint there's a line that says heist target right and heist target unusual gems just means alternate quality gems and um uh prime and secondary lenses okay so this is the prime why what is the difference between prime and secondary besides the price because a prime lens right now is about 70c wow that's crazy and a secondary lens is 11c well i would say that um you know funny enough i feel that prime lenses are way 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 more um uh, common than secondary lenses like many times maybe like five to ten times more common um but it's more valuable because of these uh these auras so um, when you have these lenses, uh, primary does active skill gems, right? These are your spells, the things that you manually have to cast, and then secondary are support gems. Now, um, if you look at the primary grading lens, right, um, this thing right here, uh, it will take a quality, right, the, the base quality of your current gem and turn it into one of the other ones, okay? And not all gems have like three alternate qualities. Some of them only have two, I believe, and it will roll it to something else and it cannot roll itself again, right? So let me give you an example. If if you use a divine orb, uh, let me go here and show you this. If you take a divine orb and you uh, right click this divine orb and you put on an item, what's going to happen is that the item is going to uh, reroll the uh, all the stats on it, the explicits, but it could be the same thing, right? So let's say your gold rim has uh, 35 resist and you're trying to get the gold rim to uh, 40 resist, okay? When you use a divine orb, it could stay at the same amount, okay? But that is not the case with these prime lenses. And what I mean by that is um, if I had a regular uh, androgen, if I had a regular purity of ice, uh, determination, right? Purity of elements, uh, male violence. Um, these gems right here, if I had the normal version, like I went to Lily and bought one, and I use a primer gradient lens on it, it cannot turn into its, itself. It has, it has to go to one of the other ones, okay? And this is extremely important because the rolls are weighted. The more expensive ones are that expensive because they are harder to get. The weighting is much, much smaller um, than the, the so-called bad ones, okay? And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, 
if you are going to use this to re-roll a gem into another quality it does not have to be 20 percent quality um some of these you see at 20 percent just because because of heist league like the currency editor league like i have 4.6 thousand gcps and i'm never going to run out right so why not just make it 20 percent so it looks better if you do get it um switch over then uh, you know 20 percent makes it look more attractive some people might type in 20 out of habit in the search site so you might get more visibility on it okay and then if it turns into something something different that's like bad 20 percent once again helps it sell um faster so that's pretty cool there um some people even have loot filters that only show 20 percent quality gems so if you accidentally drop it on the ground or something it'll show up um but yeah I, I digress so these right here are all starting from the not the base version right base version is just called superior and so these are this is starting from anomalous this is starting from anomalous this one starting from anomalous this one starting from anomalous and male violence is starting from divergent and that's just the the tag that um signifies which one they are um that's not the original and the only reason this is divergent is because the divergent male violence is actually the um the bad one right but it but just keep in mind for any of these gems that anomalous does not mean that it's like the one that you should use the lens on you have to go to pvdb and let's bring that up right because you're probably wondering okay let's say i look on this poe ninja site and i see that i want to use a prime lens on an anger to get a divergent anger and then i want to use uh which, what's the good period device oh the good period device is divergent right so you can see that those are the ones i'm going for right i don't have those yet if you had one of those you would not want to use a lens on it um but that's pretty obvious right so um after you figure out what exactly you want to do you can calculate expected return um if you would like to do that all you got to do is you would take the um the chance of the uh the good gem proccing right with the prime lens and then you would take that uh multiplied uh you take the denominator multiplied by the uh cost of the um uh, the prime lens so if prime lens 70c if your chances are 1 in 11 then it's going to take you on average 11 times um, 70c so 770c to get it and if that number 770c in this example is less than the price that you can sell it for uh, on the trade site uh, then you are uh, on average going to make money you can do the math there and make smart decisions now let's get into the uh, poe db because everyone knows in poe there are a ton of uh like different resources right you got like a trade site you got the poe ninja you got the uh you got the trade macros you got all this and now um a lot of people are going to be using poe db because a great thing about poe db is i don't even know how they get these numbers but they seem to data mine the chances of certain things for us so that we don't have to wow that's great right and without this knowledge we wouldn't know that um they are weighted so you might think like if a, a gem has three options then you, and it's already on one then it's a 50 50 to get the other two options right but that is not the case and so how you're gonna get to here is i highly recommend if you're thinking about doing this because you might even have some of these in your inventory just sitting there right um ready to be jambled and you're gonna need to type in and google search bar you're gonna type in like uh poe db all one word and then the gem you're looking for or you can just go to poe uh poe db tw and then in the top search bar right here you can type in the thing you want so let's start with Andrew and why is it super important when you scroll down the thing you, you have to look for is right here okay waiting and you can see exactly what it is so you use a combination where you're starting out of poe ninja you also use a combination of uh, PVE trade to see how much the things are so you can determine your expected returns given all the costs and the time and stuff like that. Uh, and then after you find that out, you are going to look at the weighting. So this is why I chose Anomalous for the Anger Aura, because if you look right here at the weighting, right, it is heavily weighted towards um the anomalous version which i already have right i bought this on the trade site for five c it's super cheap right and this is um you have to do this if you want if you don't want to waste your money because um what let's go through the rules again right if i use a prime lens it cannot roll itself it has to roll either superior which is the default um that we've had in every previous league or divergent right which is a good one so what are the weightings well 50 and 5 so obviously this one is 10 times more rare but the way that you do the math is like let's say you're looking for divergent you just divide 5 by the total weighting so 5 plus 50 because those are the only two options so the total pool of 55 
And for this one, um, the one that you want, it's a weighting of five. So you do five divided by the total pool. That's the math you're gonna have to do. In this case, it's 11. So let's compare. Let's say that you went to Lily and um, so let, let me just walk through. This is how like some people do it because they're, they're too lazy to um, to buy it off the, the other version off the trade site and they end up having, or actually like, yeah, having their chances of getting it. So it kind of sucks. But let's say you are lazy and what you might wanna do is, um, you might want to go here because this person sells every gem once you've completed the uh, the coast quest, right? A little bit laggy here. Uh, let's go here, Lily, and then we're gonna go. Oh, I don't I don't have the thing on this guy. I didn't do the quest. Whoops. But um, let's just imagine that you did, right? Um, and you bought it, and you wanted to use the lens on the initial version, which is superior. Now, one little note: you do have to put at least one percent quality on it, so it knows it's like a quality gem, so it says superior. Um, but you don't need 20. And then what are your chances then? Well, five divided by 105. That is one in 21 chance. And for 5C, you can you can kind of ha almost half that chance, right? You can um, get it to uh, one in 11, right? By starting with the anomalous. I hope this makes sense. I'm being a little bit overgenic because I, I get asked this question um, so many so many times uh on stream that i want to be very clear for the newer players why this is so and remember anomalous doesn't mean that that it's the one that you start on okay you have to look for it per gem to see which one's the bad one which one has the heaviest weighting and which one is the one that you want right so just by buying something for 5c um i buy the anomalous andrew here i have like basically doubled my odds of getting the good one okay does that make sense good so let's keep going right so you might be like okay is that is that the case for all the gems no it's not this is just one example and they do follow this kind of like pattern where they're either like one in six or one in uh one in 11 and then if you don't you know buy the correct one it's one in like 21 one in 11 whatever here i'll, I'll just show you right purity of ice you can see right here if you start here look at that it's not a weighting of five for the expensive one right so what this means is when you buy an anomalous uh purity of ice and then you use a lens on it it's 10 divided by the total weight of 60 right so one sixth chance of getting a um of getting the uh, big money one. So if you ever corrupted an Empower or an Enlighten, it's kind of similar to those odds of getting like a level four on Empower Enlighten. So if you've ever done that, you kind of know, oh, it's a pretty good chance. You'll eventually get one, not too hard, but also kind of rare, you know? So don't uh, don't don't go wasting too much money on it um, because I'll talk about a few reasons why you might not want to do this, even though the expected returns might look extremely juicy, okay? So that's the ice and then another one, Determination. If you look right here, same thing, right? One in six you start with the anomalous and yeah um 10 out of 60 waiting to get it we go to the precision um kind of the same thing right the mana reduced one is a 10 waiting so that's one six we have a purity of elements here and then as you can see we have a um purity of elements is like a little bit more expensive but um it is also more rare because when you start with it it's it's a waiting of five out of 55 so one in 11 okay now that I've gone over this, remember poedb.tw. Make sure that you're doing, you're starting from the correct place, and you're using, um, you know, the the lens on a like not like a really bad like original one because you are actually having your chances. Right? It feels really really bad. Okay, I think I've talked enough about that. Let's let's get into the fun stuff here. Okay. So on um, the secondary lens, I was just showing because like for this one, same exact rules apply for the secondary lenses. It's just these are for support gems, not active gems. So um, I have right here, I have 10 of these because I have 10 of these things here. I looked on PUE, um, the PUE trade site and uh, I've determined that, you know, for the price that you can get these uh, for, they're very, very cheap to get the anomalous version, okay? Um, some of them might rise up to 20, 25C if, people, if too many people are buying in bulk at a certain time, but they are incredibly cheap right now. So, um, I'm gonna take one and we are going for divergent, right? We want the move speed. Another thing to note is that if you if you wanna know the quality, they have an advanced tool tip. I think your advanced tool tip will be alt, um, the alt key by default. And look, additional effect from quality, it'll just tell you what it is. So you don't accidentally roll the wrong one because it is hard to remember the names, right? You're like, oh, is it divergent? Is it anomalous? Is it phantasmal? Just press your alt show hotkey. Um, if you don't have um, advanced tool tips, go into your UI here. And this one, you need to check this box right here. Advanced mod description. So to get there, once again, option, escape, options, UI tab, and then scroll all the way down to 
advanced mod descriptions there you go right make sure that is on and then you can be like oh okay so this is a bad one right because it has increased burning damage the quality but i actually want um the movement speed so let's just use it watch what happens right boom oh man feels bad right so this was let's check again um on our website what the chances were uh it is a oh it's a one in 11 chance to get the good one right so uh you know kind of uh not even that unlucky because most of the time it will be this so as you can see it can never become itself right and it actually kind of looks different this is the original one and this is the anomalous um one right here right so obviously we want it to be di diversion but we got a little bit unlucky let's try again on this one. Oh man turn to the original feels bad okay fight the urge to go with the prime lens back on these two to turn back in the anomalous just because you don't want to trade because it is much better to just trade for a anomalous version so these two are bricked and we lost 140 c Ooh, that that really really sucked let's try anomalous purity of ice oh i got it i actually got it look oh my gosh that's crazy right so uh <laughs> yeah pretty fun so um this one as you can see it's a little bit higher weighting because it starts with a base 10 weighting out of 60 so i had a one in six chance of getting that and i did so i'm gonna put that over here and if we go look at the um where's my purity ninja here uh where is it purity of ice oh look at that i made like 14.9 exalts that's crazy right um and this could this could change up or down depending on the time of day once again and uh how many people are doing this so um we uh have made like let's say 14 exalts and we have used three lenses which is 210 c which is about four exalts right so we're up a little bit feels really good um and let's go again right so um um, one thing to note about this, and I'll talk a little bit more about how to search these and kind of decide if it's worth doing, is that um, if you hit one of them and you were planning on doing another one, you probably don't want to do that because um, you're kind of undercutting yourself, right? If you, uh, unless you like put this in the tab and skip it, people are going to know that you have two sometimes and um, you're going to end up like, here's what's going to happen, right? It's like, if you do do not index, it won't index it. Uh, you're gonna like have to undercut someone else but then like once your sells the next guy is gonna sell right but but someone's gonna undercut him so then you usually have to like undercut where you were undercutting and it's kind of like it's like i like to sell myself right away right so like i just i just cut undercut someone um right all the way down to the to the, to the bottom and um this is like it's it's kind of weird right because you're you're producing too much supply because you know the expected re return is really really good okay so um so yeah so like let me let me just calculate the expected return on this one for you guys so you can see like how people's mindset might affect the prices here so um the the period of ice was one in six and the um regrading lens is 70 c right so six times seven is 420 yo nice number so 420 let's say exalts are uh 50 c so 420 divided by 50 is 8 point um 8.4 right so it's 8.4 exalts so you should be willing to do this if the purity is more than 8.4 exalts does that make sense right because that's all you need well i guess you count in like the um if you're gonna if you're gonna use some of these like like six of these you gotta buy uh six to, uh anomalous purity of ices which is a uh, 30 c so let's just add on another half exalt okay or let's just add on another exalt who cares nine nine point five exalts that you need right and obviously you see from the website that it is much more than nine exalts so you might be thinking Wait a minute, that expected, like mathematically, if the data mine values can be believed, and I believe that they can, why would why would not everyone just like spend all day buying prime lenses and these gems and just keep doing this? Because it seems mathematically, I'm gonna make like five exalts, you know, five, six exalts profit every single time. And in some cases, okay, <laughs> some cases early in the morning, it's like you're gonna make like 15 exalts profit expected return. But that does not actually happen because as too many people do this, um, here's what's gonna happen, right? There's like three factors. Um, the first uh, the first variable is the price of the anomalous gem. If even a few people do this in mass, the anomalous gem goes up, right? So what used to be 5C might be 25C. That's half an exalt now, right? And then the prime lens is also gonna go get pushed up so the prime lens maybe it starts at 60 which i was actually buying it for on stream on 60 um that might get pushed up and then that's now 70 80 90 right so now it's even more maybe it's like closer to two exalts instead of like one exalt and then maybe it's in bulk maybe it's closer to three exalts instead of two exalts it gets really messy and then also i think about the time right the time thing i'm gonna make a new video on because we had some hilarious stuff going on on stream uh, before where we like kind of track how much are we making per second and how much should you leave a um leave your map your heist for uh for a trade but um 
that's for another video. So um, the trading time, and then of course, if more people are doing this, let's say um, let's say that you're gonna sell this, right? So divergent purity of ice. Maybe I think I'm gonna make some money. So let's go here. Let's just check, right? Uh, I'm gonna refresh the page here, and I type in divergent purity um, purity of ice. I hit enter, and let's take a look. Oh, okay, this one's corrupted. Let's let's not get the corrupted because mine is very clean. Uh, so corrupted, no. Okay, so 14.6, right? And let's see how many are there's 27. There are 27 of these. Okay, let's say there's 27 people trying to sell this. That's actually kind of a lot. It's not a lot in terms of overall gems that are dropping like level 21 or 2020 or whatever, but that's still a lot, right? And let's say two people do this and you see how fast you can do this if you have like the materials on hand. And now let's say there's 50, right? And everyone's trying to undercut because we know like, like if everyone sees the expected return, we're all gonna be doing it. So it gets, it gets pushed down really really fast i'll give you an example um the purity of elements that you just saw me sell earlier in this video um for 21 point something um when i when i got that on my stream you can watch the vod from last night uh, i got very very lucky it was like 28 29 exalts and there was only like five of them online because like 4 a.m um and yeah so i was like holy shit i made all this money but really i had to sell it at 21 so i lost already like like seven i didn't lose i still made money but like i i lost uh seven extra exalts right because uh i had actually two of them and then everyone started undercutting me and everyone came online so uh you have to be be very careful with this kind of stuff because uh what you think your profits are going to be once the time oh what, oh mcdonald's uh, mcdonald's on my phone is trying to give me uh a j balvin's meal what the heck is that what the okay free advertising for mcdonald's not sponsored or anything by the way um so what's going to happen is like it's going to get pushed down you know the the, the materials to make this is going to get pushed up so be very very careful uh when you are doing this now let's get back into it so we are up on this one though for sure and now we have our determinations okay we want divergent to get our evasion as uh as yes and oh failed feels bad well this one oh man we failed that and that's a one in six right so sometimes if you're if you are um kind of like scared of unlucky streaks and stuff you might want to stay away from this but um let's take a look at our anomalous purity so our anomalous purities it is a one in 11 chance to hit the divergent and let's take a look at divergent purity of elements just to see um how much they are right now right because we already sold one earlier but that was my and i have another one to sell uh in my inventory so it's it's looking a little bit pretty uh it's looking pretty bad right so 24.5 here all right here we go oh i didn't get it what about this one Oh, I didn't get that one either. Okay, feels really, really bad. And now for the divergent male violence, right? Um, you really want the quality of increased duration because this is good for things like spark, good for your buffs like arcane surge. It's good for like a whole bunch of things like your wheel skills and everything. So let's see if we get it. And oh, I didn't get it. Ah, oh, I didn't get it again. Okay, so this is an example of like it's like it's like oh man, that feels kind of bad, right? Because now what has actually happened is I've used all of those and um, so I made like 14 or something, but uh, I spent um, pr pretty close to that if you count like the trading time and the initial mats, right? So did I really make any money in that scenario? Um, not really, right? A, a tiny bit. So, um, but in previous days, I got really, really lucky multiple days. And uh, so you'll make a little bit on average, I'd say, but um don't really go into it seeing your expected returns and, and think you're gonna make like so many exalts uh doing this right it is very very fun uh to do i will say that and i will say the prime lenses um if you run these blueprints right here either any kind of tunnels um or any of the uh repositories then all you gotta do is make it to the end and then you can maybe choose one of these um prime lenses and uh you know my testing maybe about one in three one in four okay per one in four wings um you will get a um a prime lens so that's the video about um how people are jambling this how people are so easily able to bring to market these gems why people might be buying your uh bricked ones right because you might see like you might see like um you know if if our because people do use them on these because they're lazy right and then you'll get most of the time you get the anomalous version or like the, the bad version and you'll be like why are people whispering for this this is not the good version right but they're trying to use a lens on it so that's why people might be buying your gems and uh yeah it's really really fun though if you like this style of jamble where you know the exact odds right because some of the stuff isn't explained to you like last week we had house of mirrors jambles on the horticultural benches we didn't have we had no idea if that was actually 50 50 or if it was skewed but this data mine and from the 
results that we get and a lot of people have done, have tested these um weightings on PWDB do seem pretty accurate one more thing here um just to help you guys out if you guys are ever um wondering like uh, which one maybe I, I should start with if I don't know what the expected return is because like things can be shifted up and down as I start doing this especially if like you know you see some some streamer doing it and everyone joins in I mean hell it doesn't have to be everyone just like two people doing the same gems can really really mess with you right especially if they just keep undercutting you so one thing I suggest and this is true for pretty much um any anything that you're investing in. I don't even do this anymore because I just like playing the game. But if you're like um, if you're like a newer player and you really care about prices and things like that and, and not taking uh, too many risks, um, one thing you can do is after you see the uh, prices of the good things, you can just look at the quantities right uh, in the prime time because this will kind of help you. So there's 22 of these on the market on the purity of ice. We saw a little bit higher numbers, but still, uh, I'd say I'd say this is like still a lot. Let's take a look at the die. Um, divergent determination right um so here it is okay so there's like 26 of these so they all seem pretty uh pretty good i think the anomalous um male violence what is that okay that's 23 results and there's 19 so this one's like the the least of them and Another thing to think about is like which one is going to like become popular and which one do people mostly have, right? And which one can people cycle out of the economy? And what I mean by that is um, lots of these skill gems here, people won't actually corrupt it, okay? And I'll give you an example with the purities. Purity of elements and purity dice, mine and my helmet are not corrupted. The reason is if I get 2120, um, doesn't do jack shit for me because my resistances are like 400, okay? So it doesn't give any like uh, max rest because I'm already at 90 cap, so I I can't go to 91 uh even if there was some kind of weird thing going on and and um you know the extra resist once again too overcapped now let's think about 2023 what if that happened um well at 2023 while it is true that if you had some kind of weird enhance plus levels going on you could get another extra bit of determine um, extra bit of penetration which could be cycled through your um aura effect but uh, most people don't do that with their enhance they just go with the vanilla enhance level four and then um, because that's 24 percent you actually uh you actually like don't have enough um to to get to the next threshold if you know what i mean because uh the if it's four percent penetration for 20 percent quality what that means is that um one percent penetration is linked to a uh, five percent uh gain in quality right so um it, it's like a little bit it's like it's like a little bit too hard because because you have to remember um when a gem corrupts okay uh you can get minus 10 all the way down to minus 10, so minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you can get up to um, plus 10, but because gems can only go up to 23%, there's, you can get um, you know no change, 21, 22, and 23, okay? So that's that's how it works. So it's like it's like really, really weird to corrupt those, so maybe these don't get cycled out as much, but there are some that do. And so if you look at, um, at the Anger, right? Um, if you corrupt this for 23%, you actually get an additional percent move speed, which is kind of cool. So people will try to corrupt these more so than they will their purities, which ends up, um, you can be like, well, then more Angers and more, uh, and also male violence as well, I believe. And I'm not sure about Wrath, but uh, not this Mana Reservation one, but maybe the other one. Um, it, like these will be cycled out of the market because of bricks, right? And bricks are like pretty much worthless. Uh, they'll still sell, but they're pretty bad. And so you might want to focus on that because you know that there will always be some of those exiting the economy faster than some other gems. And you can also think about like how Orbots build their characters. So we know that determination is really, really good, um, but we know that it's you know you don't really with most people playing software you don't really go for that until later when you have the mana reservation and stuff so that might like be a slow play because you might want to get the damaged ones first because people get excited about damage and later on you switch to determination okay so keep in mind it's not just what this website says you have to kind of like stay ahead of it because everyone can see this website right so it's like um it's like if you believe in a weak efficient or a strong efficient um um economy in poe uh, i believe it's weak efficient which just means that players don't act um uh completely uh like like logically based on the information that is readily available to them right um it's kind of like uh it, it's kind of like 
you know, um, if Nintendo comes out and they announce to everybody that uh, like uh, this Donkey Kong Country 5 is coming out, it's going to be the best game ever. But but there was an announcement of that announcement everyone already knew. When they announce that, and everyone's ex- even though everyone's excited, the stock price won't actually go up because people have that information already. They, everyone's already privy to all the information at hand. And so that that's an uh, example of a strong form economy. And then uh, weak form is that like, you know, um, weak form would be like they announce something, but people are dumb and they don't, they don't know how to read and uh, they don't look at patch notes and stuff and so like they don't act on the knowledge that it, even though it is um, available to them and that's a weak form okay I, this is like an economics lesson um, that shouldn't really be in this video but that's just how it is right um, because and this is important because uh, although everyone can see this information and you do need to take that into account to get ahead of these numbers here um, it's still kind of there's so many other factors at play so uh so just just be careful with it and uh and try to get like you know try to try to like think about what someone might not be doing okay because i guarantee you if you watch a streamer do something there's probably like five people that that instantly copy that thing um even though they don't know how to read and so you know you might debate yourself there and what i'm trying to say is don't copy what i'm doing because the second someone else does this in mass right um you know it's it's just like it's just really annoying for everyone that's that's uh, been doing it slowly okay you know what i mean so that's the video um if you have any questions i stream every day on twitch in the evenings you can come ask me the questions there and we'll be doing more um more of these jambles here i got a little bit lucky here huh um this is kind of weird but my there's been like two days where i got like three in a row and then another day where i got like four of them and then like earlier on stream i got like uh i got like three good gems it's but uh i was hoping that this video i will have a little bit better luck but I'm, i mean at least i didn't like lose money right so um that's pretty cool there because i have that to sell and i have um uh wait where'd it go where you go um it's it's somewhere here but uh yeah so um anyways uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching my video okay bye guys i'll see you guys later bye